welcome back to my channel it's dancing a little bit before this so yeah trying to keep my spirits up how are you guys i hope everyone is well um today's video is going to be shop my stash really working on my collection now that no real makeup is coming in i did pre-film a haul video that will be going on later and you know trying that makeup that's my dog if you can hear him barking but that will be going on will going up later on um in a couple well like two anyways that video will be going up a little later just because of my schedule um but mostly i'll be focusing even more on what i already own so i changed up the setting a little bit let me hold on okay oh no no okay oh there you go that's a good pretty good visual okay so i changed up my setting right here lips lips same thing here but now i actually have this whole right here drawer set let me take this out of the way oopsies i have this whole drawer set right here and that's for my shop my sash and i'm actually really really happy that i got it and i got it actually before all this craziness started i think at the end of february after i filmed my shop my stash and put it up and i've been playing around with it this month and i really like it i really like the setup of it it makes just putting on my makeup so much easier and yeah and those are my lips from last month um the only thing i have to report on is the ivy lipstick let me um it's a light pink color let me show you really quick i like the formula okay the color is okay um, maybe for spring I'll be able to use it a little bit more, but not my favorite, to be honest. Everything else is good. I didn't get to use everything just because everything, you know, just basically just went crazy. For my palettes, um, I wasn't able to use, again, everything. I still have a couple days left in March, but I just feel like maybe starting the month again, you know, just refresh, reset as much as I can. I've chosen what I'm going to use for the month and I'm putting in this elf eyeshadow it's the berries and no rose water rose water oopsies it's the rose water one and it has these beautiful shimmers and then the two mattes I haven't actually tried this one before I've tried two others so I'm really excited it's kind of mauvey pinky a little bit more on the mauve I think and yeah just excited to try that one I already tried the formula and I do like it overall just need to keep trying it I'm gonna put the new blush crush palette and that's what that looks like okay this palette is the sea chalk palette i customized this palette as you will see it, it looks a little janky but i rather look like this with two colors that i'm actually going to be able to use and like rather than have those glitters in there because i do not like glitters so i rather have it like this um and i have a little bit more variation another shimmer i have another matte and i really enjoy that like a lot better and i feel like i'm gonna get a lot more use out of this palette than having those really unsafe glitters okay next one is the uh -huh honey and then this is what this looks like and i just wanted you know those yellows and the next the next palette is going to be the Emily Edit, and I'm going to be concentrating on this side of the palette, um, just because I feel like it looks more pastel. You got those purples, that green, those peach tones, those very neutral, um, what is that, neutral transition colors. Um, you kind of have a mauve pink here. So yeah, that's where I'm going to be sticking to. The palette that I'm going to include is my own creation, and it's just a Z palette full of my own colors. I included some blue shimmers. Um, now that I think about it, I didn't include a neutral palette. I usually tend to include a neutral palette. Okay, I know what I'm going to do. Okay, so I included some blues, some, um, corals again, and then some purples, uh, and then glass bowl right here. I'm so excited to put that back into rotation. And yeah, so what am I going to do, since I didn't include a neutral palette, I don't know why I'm so hard of breath, is I'm going to keep the ColourPop double entendre i'm going to keep it in for april again i had it in march but i'm going to keep it for april just in case i just want maybe a pop of color on the lid or something with these blues maybe these purples i'm not sure 
I always like to have a neutral palette just so that way I just have something to like not, not necessarily my backup plan but just something it just it's just a cushion neutral palette is always a cushion so yeah so those are gonna be my palettes for this month so let me put them aside alrighty Shot my stash the elf one and then the Kat Von D one my two liquid um, lips that are neutral I'm choosing what is this one Abu Dhabi from NYX the soft matte lip creams and then Sanibel from Ofra it's a little mini just do this one and let's do I want to do spice petal let's do these two and see what I think of these two so I'm going to do the essence velvet matte lipstick that's what that looks like. It's a little bit more cool tone. And Matte Beauty from Milani. And those are all the nudes that I'm going to use. So I still have Praline and yeah. Okay, then I wanted to bring some pink ones in. For my pinks, I definitely want to pull this one from um, that I got in BoxyCharm. And this one is called, actually I don't know what it's called. But the brand is Appeal. It's like a soft pink. It's not that bright. I just, you know, swatched it and it looks bright. I'm going to pull this Sigma one. Liquid lipstick. It's almost like a nudie pink. But it has a lot more pink in it. And that is in the shade New Mod. It smells like a little coconut -y. Okay, then ColourPop. Let's see what this one looks like. This is the ColourPop Brink. I actually like that. It's really pretty. So yeah, let's pull that one. Let's pull Brink in. Let's pull that Appeal one. And so I'm pulling the Appeal and the Brink. I think I'm going to leave the Sigma one behind. And let's look at this Budapest one. Yeah, from NYX. Oh, that's a little dark. Yeah, definitely not doing that one. Okay, yeah, that's all I'm doing. Let's let's switch these four. These are all like orangey shades, like coral orangey shades. This is Topanga from ColourPop. Ooh, yes, definitely. And then we have I like it, also from ColourPop. It's just their lippy sticks. Where did I swatch it? Up here. I hope so. <laughs> Ooh, yes. Pretty. And then, let me swatch these last two. Okay, I have, what is this one? Troublemaker? What is this? Ultra Matte Lip Troublemaker. Mm, it's really similar to that, but it is matte. So I'm going to take it, and then I'm also going to take... Um, seven springs these are all very corally colors that one's definitely more bright okay uh, yeah I didn't fill up the whole thing and everything else is dark lips I don't want any dark lips right now so I definitely did not fill up the whole thing but I'm okay with that because just you know it's not like I'm really gonna go anywhere huh I don't need to have a lot of options but I think these are good. That way I can have a notion of what I like and what I want to keep. And if it doesn't work, move on. You know? And then, okay. So now comes the next part that I didn't have before. Where I'm actually going to show you where I keep my bronzers and my um, blushes, highlights, foundations, and all that jazz. I'll show you what I had in my stash. My new drawers. And we're going to pull that out. And then we're going to... Um, get the new ones okay ready this is where I keep my single shades so all that's gonna go in here um again I think the only one I'm gonna keep are these two and waddles so I'm gonna keep these two and then waddles in here I'm gonna put everything else away and then I'll show you what I replace it with in a second really noisy that's where I keep my eyebrow products my eyeliners that I use so much 
Okay, so in this first drawer, I kept my primers and my, um, Oh my gosh, my concealers. As you can see, I do have a Wet n Wild one. I do still have products that are from Wet n Wild Physician Formula, even if they're not long, any longer cruelty free, but I do want to finish them up. So I'm going to pull this one out, and I'm going to pull the NYX out. And then, this is my, my, these two are my project pans, so is the next one, but I'm going to give the next one a rest for now, and I'm going to pull, I'm going to pull this one, I think. Okay, so next I have, again, a foundation from Wet n Wild. Um, let's see if you guys can see this. So again, in this drawer I had a foundation from Wet n Wild. I'm gonna put, Wet n Wild, I'm gonna put back. I had this number seven airbrush away tinted skin perfecter. And again, I'm gonna put this back. Uh, I'm gonna put the essence powder back. Holy. I'm going to keep both these in here, the Milani one, um, the Milani, what is it, setting spray, and then the Smashbox primer water too. I'm going to keep the Kat Von D powder in there, and I'm going to put the Milani one back. And then for this last drawer, this is where I had my blushes and my bronzers. I'm going to put basically everything back except the Essence one. Oh wait, hold on. This is in my project pan too. So everything's gonna go back except my essence and the color pop blush. All right. I have my setting sprays, my primers, and my foundations. So I decided since this is new, I'm going to pull the Dry Cosmetics Buildable Buildable CC, Buildable Blur CC Cream. I'm going to pull this one in. And then I'm also, I have two, um, oh, I don't want anything to go to waste. And I have these two um, foundations. So actually, you know what? I'm going to pull both of these um, samples in just so they can be used up. And then I have my other, um, the other foundation that I have in here is going to be my Project Pan one, which is a Smashbox Cosmetics. So I'm keeping that in there. And then for primers, let's see. I'm going to get a mattifying one. What do I have here that's mattifying? Nothing. <laughs> uh, I'm going to pull the Tatcha one. Not that one. The Tatcha one. Uh, and let's see. see it's, I don't have a lot of mattifying ones, you guys. Okay. So I'm going to try to pull, th okay, ah, so for primers, I need to be careful with this because I'm going to need to break. For primers, I'm going to pull the No Problem um, primer, and then the Tatcha Silk Canvas, along with the other one that I have. And then also for setting spray, I'm actually going to pull the matte one, just because it is getting hot, the Milani version of the matte one. It's getting hot, <laughs> and I'm getting more oily. So yeah, definitely need to pull that in. And then that's it. Okay. Okay, in this drawer, I keep my concealers and then my powders. So I already have the um, Kat Von D one for prof. Two concealers, I'm gonna pull the Naked one. Um, Urban Decay Naked, Stay Naked concealer. And then I'm gonna pull the two elf shades that I have for the hydrating concealer. So for my powder, I'm going to pull the, um, the Beauty Bakery one, and then I'm gonna pull this one from Seattle London's called the Coconut Setting Powder. So I'm gonna pull these two for my powders. Okay. Oh my gosh. In this drawer, I keep my um my highlighters and my bronzers. I'm gonna pull in the Milk Makeup bronzer. I'm gonna pull in this Alamar Cosmetics new um new brighten and bronze thing that I got palette and that's it for my bronzers honestly that's all I need and then for highlight I'm gonna pull that one I have the my um my project pan one and then I'm going to pull you know what I'm gonna pull this elf one I haven't used this one in a long time so I'm gonna pull the elf 
Moonlight Pearls. And I think this is supposed to be like a baked eyeshadow, but I actually use it as a... I use it um, as a highlighter. And then something really intense. Let's see. I'm going to pull like this peachy one actually. And this is called Peach Glow from Laura Geller. Very appropriate right now. So yeah. Okay, so these are the two highlighters that I'm pulling for April. And then my blush drawer. Is drawer all its own, you guys. So that is my blush drawer. Okay. You know what? I'm going to pull these two new ones from Persona. I have the George. I have both of them, obviously. There's only two. Georgia and Carmel. I'm going to pull these two. And I'm going to pull in. Okay, and I'm going to pull this blush stick from ColourPop. It's the shade Under Pressure, and it's a very corally shade. I'm going to pull that one. Another palette from Alamar, and this is the Colorette palette, and this is a fair light one. Trade my Alamar one for this Hourglass one just because I've never tried this one, and I just kind of want to see what it's, um, what it looks like, and that's the color of it. Can't really see. It's kind of beautiful. There you go. And this color is diffused heat. I need like a neutral shade to ground me. And I'm gonna pull out toasted cinnamon. Yeah, I'm gonna pull out toasted cinnamon from um, Burt's Bees. That's what that looks like. So I have a peachy blush, a coral blush, a cool tone blush, and then I have another coral blush. Yeah, I think I'm good. I think. So that's what my blush. And my bronzer drawer looks like these. This is my single eyeshadow drawer. These ColourPop Super Shock shadows. That's a purple. They're all pretty dual chromey. Um, so yeah, I'm gonna be pulling this purple one, this one, and then this is called Bay Superfly and Ripple. So Ripple Superfly and Bay. Okay, and I'm going to be pulling this Natasha Denona top coat. Oy. This is what it looks like. Hold on, guys. You can't really see it, but it's lavender. It has some gold and silver specks in it. I'm going to be pulling in these um, glitter and glows from Stila. One is in Sea Sire and the other one is Wonderlust. Can you even see them? Because of the light. Okay, well, this one's like a blue, pink with like blue and purple lavender flux, and this one has like a gold underbase, a gold um, base with some pink and like orange coral flux in it. I hope it doesn't want this makeup mess concludes shop my stash. I am going to put it back together in a second. It's going to go look all very pretty, and I will take a picture of it. Yeah. Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed uh, my Shop My Stash video. And if you did, don't forget to give it a thumbs up. And if you haven't subscribed already, I hope you consider subscribing. And stay home, stay safe, wash your hands. And yeah, I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye-bye.